bloggy vlog vlog about books today, because I haven't done one in a really long time. I hope you've been enjoying my ridiculous other silly videos that I've been making. There will probably be more of those in the future. I'm doing okay with the 50 books challenge. I'm a little behind, but I'll get there. I'm going to go to the library after this and pick some up. If you have suggestions for things that I should read, put comments down there in the comment place area section thing and I'll read those and maybe go pick those up and read them or you know I won't. So here we go. Hannah's Dream that's basically Free Willy but instead of a whale it's an elephant and that's pretty much the gist of that book. Wild Roses is about a psychotic violin playing stepfather and that was a little bit interesting and a little cliche. Um, Soldier Who Fell From Grace With The Sea is about a gang of creepy 13 year old boys who get up to creepy, no good creepiness. And I kind of hated that book. Jumping Over Fire is about Iran and an Iranian Iranian family in the United States. Um, I really enjoyed that book. I enjoyed learning about what Iran is like and the history and all of that, but it has this creepy subplot with incest that I just I didn't get it. Fingersmith? Uh, I kind of think that book is a little like Shutter Island, but with girls and lots of Victorian time creepiness. Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. That's really cool, kind of poetic, sort of interesting format for a book to have it be like a dictionary, but it's a love story in the form of words and definitions. Namesake is about an Indian... Indian is windy! Uh, um, namesake is about Indian immigrants in here in America. And um, it's pretty good until the end, and the ending sucks, and I hate books that don't have happy endings, because I live in fairy tale land or something. Reality is dumb, so I don't want to read about it when I read. Um, <laughs> Mary Riley, I read this book called Mary Riley, and it starts off and you think it's Harry Potter, because it's a girl basically in a cupboard under the stairs. It's a girl, I mean, it's not Harry Potter's not a girl, but sounds the same, okay? She's ten, she's in the stairs. It just just read it, you'll know what I mean. Um, but it's about a girl who grows up to live as a maid, maids again, for um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so that was really interesting, cool twist on the original story, which I read earlier this year, so that was fun. If you have questions about these books, you can ask me about them. If you want to know more about my opinions or a deeper review, you can let me know. Otherwise, that's all I have for you, because I got really behind, and I had a lot of books to cover in a short period of time. But check out The Shelfari if you want to see what I'm working on reading, what I plan on reading, um, and leave me suggestions for more books if you think that I should read them. And I'll see you later. Oh, oh, oh! And I have five subscribers now, which is really exciting for me, because to me that's like more than I ever thought I would have um, of people that might watch my videos now and then, so I just want to say hi and welcome you all, and thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'll definitely check out yours, because if you like mine, I'll probably like yours, because we probably like similar things.